so this, this gallery, you, <coughs> you've been connected with us for a long time. Yeah, start, I, I think I started showing here uh, first in 94, or 93, 94, and I, it's a gallery I've, I've really had a, a long connection with in my own life. No, it's, it's a great compliment to, and a great honour to be asked to exhibit here because not only is it my first one-man show, but in particular for me to share the gallery space on the upper gallery is an exhibition of the work of Willie Gillis, the great Scottish painter. And, you know, when I was a student, Willie Gillis was my hero. So to be in the same building as Willie Gillis is a major, a major thrill, really is. The calm quiet of a picture gallery is far removed from the energy and pomp of the rock concerts for which Donnie Munro is better known from his days with Runrig. But it is the quieter art to which he was first drawn and which has endured longer. I mean, it's quite funny, you know, people in many instances made the assumption that, you know, music was, you know, your number one thing. And, and it was, and it is. Uh, but in a very natural way, you know, music was really very early embedded in my life through, through the influence of my mother, who was a singer and who taught a Gaelic song, particularly to kids in the village. So I was always surrounded by that. So it wasn't something that I ever really came to a point where I made an actual choice to say, this is something I really want to do. Uh, but. Uh, with art, with visual artwork, it was very different because at the age of 10 or 11, I had decided I really wanted to be an artist and to do, to study visual art. And from that age onwards, everything I did was based around going to art school. You've had uh, paintings shown in the <clears> gallery, <throat> yeah. but this was your first solo exhibition. So, so what prompted that? Well, I mean, it was interesting. I you know, you mentioned Ronrig during the, uh, uh, often when I was touring with Ronrig, I, I, I would take material with me because the one thing about touring that people who do it will realize is there's a lot of slack time. You know, you're sitting in a hotel room waiting to go and do an interview or a sound check and, and I decided I'm going to make this productive. And I, on one particular tour, I, I decided to try and and produce a piece of artwork in every place I was in. Uh, and I came back from that tour. I was very used to coming into this gallery just as a member of the public to look at shows. And they asked, you know, have you done any work or do you work, do you still produce? And I had all this stuff that I'd done on the tour. So they said, let's show it, you know, because they had a look at it, they liked it. It was always part of an exhibition, so you didn't, you didn't kind of feel exposed there, but, but with this, yeah, it is quite exposed. And uh, I mean, maybe in, in similar ways to when, when I stopped working with Runrig and started working actually, uh, you know, with my own name, that was a different feeling as well, because suddenly you weren't cosseted by this, uh, you know, thing that you had jointly created. Um, so I guess there's, you know, quite, quite strong similarities. And, and, and to focus on that, so the, the, the preparation for this, your, your exhibition, yeah. uh, in comparison to a big concert, where are the differences? Well, I mean, I think, I think there are Is it more daunting, I suppose, is what I'm asking? Yeah, it, it, it's, 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 it's not any more or less daunting in a sense, it's just a different process. And uh, I think with you know, with songwriting, for example, and, you know, rehearsal, I guess there's a lot of that, uh, you know, the final product in, in the production of a piece of music um, or a performance of a piece of music is there. You, you're sharing, you know, that final, you know, piece of music or song. Uh, and, and all the stuff that went before it, has, you know, you forget. But with, with visual artwork, for me, the process is really important. You know, the journey through the work is really important. And with painting, I, I usually have a few canvases on the go at the same time because working on one will make me look afresh at one of the others. And so it's, it's a very... Uh, uh, yeah, a very engaging process. But then when you come to this point, like a song, you know, when you've completed it and you perform it or you record it, 
you know, you're giving it out there, and and you know, then people take it on board uh, in a very personal way, if they do, if they're interested, um, and it, it's in ways that you had never necessarily surmised, and in fact have very little control over. Yeah, this, this is a painting uh, that looks out onto the bay in, in Portree, which is again, just from, from a house, out, literally we look out onto the bay. The bay is known as Loch Chalamchidia in Gaelic, which is St. Columbus Loch, which is interesting. So it, tie, it ties in with that period of history and it looks across to the island of Razi. And again, the painting is very much about you know, the familiar objects of an interior space. But it, it was just a, a piece of work, again, that's, that, that kind of made that connection between things, uh, interior space and the external world. The visual and the, and the audio, I, I've always thought, had a really close relationship. And, and with Runry, particularly working in the studio, you know, when, when you created a sound, uh, we were creating kind of landscapes of sound. And a lot of the songs, uh, in terms of lyrical content, were like journeys in landscape, in the kind of landscape that we grew up in, in, in the West Highlands and the Western Isles. And, you know, there are songs like, there's a song like uh, Flower of the West, for example, and it's, you know, that song, does describe a journey. So the process of creating the music was a very visual one. And it's something I have noticed. There's quite a correlation, I think, between you know, a musical identity and, and one of uh, you know, kind of visual work. Yeah. 